that gold bit over there. But yeah. The light's going to sound like a cave. He went to school for this stuff. It'll sound better later. But for now, he's in a bit of a cave. And that's okay. It's just a little, a little, a little vibrato in it. There you go. Uh, slight, slight concerned question that I, I hope is actually just very calm. Uh, when I, when I, when a, a sheep eats the grass, does it? Is the closed captioning block breaks? Because if not, Maybe. something is breaking blocks in my base. <laughs> good question. And then I'm a little nervous about that. It sounds like sounds like a good thing to hunt down based on the uh, closed captioning. So. Oh no! I heard it this time. Okay, yeah, it was. It was definitely the the grass being eaten. Yeah, because <laughs> eating grass sounds like leaves breaking. Yeah, but I I it was muted. Like I had the the volume turned off while I was waiting for the stream to load, so it didn't interfere with the pre credit sequence. So. Mm. Oh, you figured it out. Uh, so I was busy while you guys were gone on Thursday. Mm -hmm. I now have a a stamping press. You're, you're free to come over and, and use it if you'd like. It is very slow. I cannot figure out how to make it faster. But it's a thing. And the mixer works so long as you don't need heat. Oh, yeah, because you need the, uh, the blaze burner. Yeah, I, I still never did that. But I, I did manage to do this, and vengeance was mine. Nice vengeance. Go hey, Mac. Uh, the bot is having issues because the new network setup. I don't think my uh, PC can see where my laptop is because my uh, PC is no longer plugged straight into the same router. Oh, we can ride the belts. That's fun. Mm -hmm. But they're very, very slow. I don't understand how Create translates SUs because if you go to the top, at the windmill is generating 2000 SUs. And when you, by the time you get down to my little, my little press, it's 32 and my, uh, belt is four. Hmm. I don't know why, but that's, that's what happens. Well, that so also might be I'm what they something. consume. Like not what's being supplied, what's being consumed. I mean, but I've and... seen them running so much faster on other people's stuff. That has to do with gear ratios. So your windmill turns really slowly, but has a lot of oomph. And so if you mm -hmm. use the different sized gears to translate the oomph into speed. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So we're going to have to work our way through the quest to get like controllers. <laughs> what is it? I need the gear shift or the rotation speed controller. I need both of those things. <laughs> Ah, Which I can make this thing now. Why do I not have an adjustable chain gear shift? What am I missing for this? And it's like casing two shafts iron nuggets. Like we can do that. And I have an electron tube and I have a large cog wheel. Why haven't I made this? Why haven't you made that? I don't know. I'm going to do it right now. Electron tube. Am I out of large cog wheels? I appear to be out of large cog wheels. That seems to be an issue, but we can get those. Okay. Uh, I need a cogwheel. Ah, oh, frickin' buttons. Always with the buttons. Oh, there is my jungle planks. Nice. I need four. Okay. Now I can grow uh, those uh, things. Coco, yes. But you need the logs, not the planks. Damn it. You have crushed my dreams once again. Oh, balls. <laughs> Wait, why can't I make that? What am I missing? Shafts! Oh, no, Damn not the shaft. I can dig it. <laughs> Sorry, they, they're uh, not in my network for some reason. That's that's a quest by itself. Wait, hold on. Give me stuff then. Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Did you give me stuff I actually needed? More shafts. Great. Thanks. Uh, so I figured I found out by the way when I when I assaulted that tower, it's much better to come in from the top. Well, yes. 
I did not know that. But they built a ladder on the outside, fought the one Vex that was out there, and then killed the spawner and never, was never bothered by him again, and just killed spawners that went down before anything really spawned. It was brilliant. Brilliant. All according to your master plan. Something like that. All right, I now have an adjustable gear shift. Let's ponder this. Ooh, I could double speed with a powered gear shift thingy. Thingy, you say? And you can have it if you power it at the other side. Okay, cool. I don't know why you want to make them slower. Probably reasons. Oh, I see. So I still need those other things. So this is like magic belt technology. Okay, all right, sweet. I need to figure out how magic belt technology works. I am not using this anywhere near the way I'm supposed to be. I can tell already. <laughs> I didn't get a single thing in that, what? I literally didn't get any reward out of my epic box. Is it on the ground? Legendary. I got a legendary create crate loot box. No. Oh, I had to jump. It was above my head somehow. It was refined radiance. A chromatic material forged from absorbed light. Uses it for this material will be available in future release. I've got something I cannot use. Oh, no. Sounds... Sounds perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh no, JavaScript error occurred in the main process. Wouldn't seem ideal, really. Oh, I can't make this next thing until I get brass. Son of a gun. I guess I gotta go get blaze powder. Wait, I made an adjustable chain gear shift instead of just a gear shift, and so I didn't get this one? Bum, bum, bum. You're the worst. Did I only make one of these? I'm out of planks. Pardon me. Sorry, didn't get to the button in time. Oh. Let's hope I can make this with Baobab planks. Okay, good. All right, let's ponder a gear shift. Gear shifts relay rotation in a straight line. I can reverse them. Cool. Could be good. <laughs> I received two powered latches. You are now a pet savior. Congratulations. Mm. I have made tunnels, but have not used them. Should I make a clutch? Might as well. How do we use clutches? Oh, 
Well, literally, it's just an on-off switch. Okay, sweet. Simple enough. Shafts and some super glue. Cool. I haven't done any of the water stuff yet because I'm not ready for that. I've never made any shoots. I should have that. Made a bunch of iron plates. Nice. I now have shoots. No ladders, just shoots. I got a free encased fan for doing that. Holy moly. Especially since that was a thing. So now I have completed the encased fan to get a free analog weaver lever and four magma blocks. Why do I have magma blocks? Do they start fires? Um, they typically don't start fires, but they are warm. If you use it to generate rotational force, it must be facing down over top of some hot block, like lava or magma. Hmm. Apply redstone signal to begin producing power. Creates small amounts of rotational force. Must be set up to use it for crafting. You have to set it up to blow through lava, water, or fire. That's why I thought fire was involved. But no, that's how you actually power it. Is with magma blocks. Interesting. All right, well, yeah, maybe we'll use that someday. Who knows? What's a depot? It's a simple item buffer. Fair enough. I can make those, too. All this to avoid having to find stuff to make brass. I can't make the mechanical arm because I need a brass plate and precision mechanisms, which are a pain in the ass to make. Cool. I still have to make a mechanical crafter. I thought I made one of these. Oh, no, because it needs brass casing, right? Yeah. <sighs> well, I guess I know my quest today. I have redstone links. Wireless redstone. Cool. Within 128 blocks? That's pretty generous. And you can have two different frequencies? Mmm. No, oh, I see. It's a two. It's a two byte integer, effectively. But your byte can be of any item that you control. All right. Um, do we feel safe enough to be in the Nether? I mean, we have diamond armor. We have some pretty sweet mana weave stuff. I have fourteen hearts now. How close are we to our next heart? 25 foods away. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, all I have to do is tap a blaze burner on a blaze. Which means we gotta go find a blaze. Who has another near a fortress? Anybody? No idea. I wonder if I do. Um... It's not too far from me, but it's not close. Also, Jorge, I don't know if you knew this. What up? Why can I not? What level am I on? Jesus, this map. Um, 
not showing continuous map right now for some reason. Uh, I've been exploring those uh, tunnels you got there. Which tunnels are you talking about? The ones with all the uh, the stuff and the things near your your near your base. Oh yeah, with the mine carts. Oh yeah, it's pretty hip. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff down there. Apples are probably not enough food. What sort of food do I have? I don't know because I can't search by type. Fuck. That's really frustrating. Oh, here. I've got cod. We'll have cod and chips. Works for me. What is... You know what? What's that my thing? I didn't even think about that. Hey, that doesn't even produce a bowl. Cod and chips are great. Because <laughs> I've got a portal, too. What's that my nether portal? Please stop sitting in my chest, cat. I saved you. Please stop sitting on it. But yeah, you were you were uh, the uh, ones with that. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, a lot of fun stuff down there. And. Uh, Nothing, nothing concerning at all. I had to run because there was a named monster after me, but the, then the idiot fell off the rails, so made it a little easier on me. <laughs> uh, very considerate. All right, I've got diamond gear. We should be fine, right? How scary are drop bears? I mean, they drop on your oh, head. Oh, right. I'm in a lake of lava. I forgot about that. Um... And there's pigmen across the way. I have no gold. I suppose I could get some. Does it have to be armor or can it be in a curio slot? Anyone know? If what uh, for which one? <clears throat> to, anno to avoid pigmen um, activation. I mean, that's um, where it's old. Does it? Can it be a curio slot, or does it have to be actual armor? I think it has, it has to be, be actual armor. armor. Okay. What is this? Is this a waystone? Those are zombie pigments, so I'm not worried about them. No, it's a pool of lava. Wait, there's another portal here. This is this. There's endstone at it. Oh, that's huh. probably mine. I'm going in. Yeah, because there was a there was a gas attack, and I needed to do a little bit of repair. So that should I be. I went ass. the wrong way. That I went the wrong gateway. way. <laughs> can I can I cut around to the other side of this gate, or do you have this wall here for a reason? Um. Yeah, you should be able to just walk across. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through the gate. <laughs> Not if you're quick. Oh really? Oh okay. Wait a minute. Oh, here's your exit. Okay, okay, okay. A lot of acacia planks everywhere. Are you sure this uh, is you? That side is an abandoned mine shaft. Ah, here's your tool pack. I got gotcha. you. There's your furnace, your crafting table. You've got a bunch of scrolls of some sort. <laughs> Yeah, those are the Tetra Scrolls, and there should be a staircase up right next to that. Oh. Oh, that's your lava bench. That's your portal. Must be on the other side of the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good. I've... I can throw raw salmon at my cat and heal it. That's good to know. I haven't been here in forever. Do you even use this anymore? Um, I stop by every now and then for certain things. Sushi Go Crafting, Writer's Edition. Oh, 
Is that still your spawn bed? Uh, I'm not probably all the way up here. actually. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that. I'll go back through. It's just cra it's crazy. Our our portals are very close. Then mm -hmm. we're not that far it's apart. Probably, probably should mark it on the map. I wonder if I marked my portal on the map. It's a lot of fire. There is an awful lot of fire. Wow, drop bear, yeah. goddamn. Turns out drop bears are not scary anymore. But, like, good <laughs> lord. What did I get from that? Drop bear claws. Cool. It's my favorite kind of donut. They're a little too sweet for me, honestly. There's a drop bear. How you doing, buddy? Want to drop on me? I dare you. They do look like koalas. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Zombified piglin grunts. Drop bear wheezes. You have to be right under it. Um, You said you think there might be a fortress by you? There's definitely wither skeletons over there. Jesus. Well, the wither skeletons are in the soul sand area. There's yeah, I see a, that. There's a cut through... I'm not sure how I can describe where it is, um, where I made just a little hallway that takes you to another area. And over I did there not mark my portal. Fortress. There's a cutaway, you said? All right, let's go. Let's mark your portal. First off, I'm glad all these pigmen are zombies. <laughs> Is that an actual pigment over there? They do show There's up some sometimes. actual pigment over there. Hmm. Okay, so that IP address is still good. So then we can forward. Oh, shit. All right. I just had some bacon. I said, oh, shit, because I heard the gas. I'm like, let's get away from our portals. All right, let me go down and mark mine. Lightbringer has left the game. Oh, no. Hasn't told me yet. <clears throat> Surprise! These are obsidian columns. Holy moly. It's a shame that's so dangerous. There it uh, goes. I feel like I need to get some more netherrack and, and then make this a little safer. From there. Come here. Oh, glowstone bee. That's fun. Yeah, most bees are pretty cute, so. New music? Or did I just not spend enough time in the nether? <laughs> um, there's probably some relatively new nether music. This is gorgeous. All right, so you said there's a cutaway. I should just get some freaking gold. I've got some gold shoes. that will be fine. They're fine with gold shoes, right? Yeah. All right. Is it a cutaway going down? 
No, it's just a hallway going across. Um, so oh. there's a couple of little areas that are up and tucked in. It's in one of them. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Gentlemen. Is it near where you plunked all this stuff? Mm, not exactly. It's farther towards the salt sand from there. All right. I was able mm -hmm. to do this from here. Aha. Uh -huh. This music is hip. Gah! There's some lava. This must not be it. This is taking me more towards the wither skeletons. There's a wraith. Wraith experience zero knockback. Huh. This is lighter than anywhere in the nether I would expect. I'm going to be honest with you. Do you have like, night vision goggles you mean? on? Oh, fair. Oh, yep, they'll do it. <laughs> I don't think this is the right place to be, but I kind of want to attack that wither skeleton just to see, but I kind of don't want to die. They're not that bad. Kind of want to poke it with a stick. Is that wrong? It hasn't seen me yet. So I feel like relatively safe. Anyway, giant lava flow. Was that where the uh, thing was or did I go down the wrong tunnel? <laughs> uh, oh, that's the right tunnel. Yeah. It and found then me. Um, <laughs> it's over towards that soul sand. It should be on your map, though. Should be on my map, really? Yeah, you can generally see fortresses on your map. Oh, but how do I see me on my map? <laughs> that's a whole other thing. Why didn't I see myself? Let me go into this one. Oh, I see. It's to my it's to my west. Which way is west? That way is west. Did I just pick up there? Wait, what? Crimson Nilium. Something fell. Oh, drop her. <laughs> Three quick swings with a diamond blade, and that's short work for a drop bear. Looks like something fell. What are you working on today, George? Uh, you know, it's been like a week or more since I played, so I'm just <laughs> trying to catch back up and figure out what I'm doing. That's pretty much where I am. There I am. I see me. <laughs> so it's not to the west, it's to the east. It just happens to be Steve blends into Soul Sand. <laughs> yeah, Mac, everything's fine. I'm just trying to work out my networking things to be able to have my bot, because I think that's more fun at this exact moment than... Uh, Come here. Where are you, buddy? Trying to build my castle. There you are. Hey, you. Right. Oh, they, wait, not... do guests teleport? No. They do despawn, though. Just... Oh, okay. Or it could be moving beyond like your uh, draw distance. I'm so very confused by all of this. I think the fortress is this thing. That's the fortress, for sure. 
But the JEI or the J map, whatever map that is, does not look like that. I've lost myself again because I blend into the damn soul sand. Yeah, the trouble with the J map is that it's um, it takes into account the Y, and so it doesn't yeah. necessarily show you everything. But that's better for caves and sometimes the Nether because then you can actually see things other than the ceiling. Yeah, I'm horribly lost on how to get to this place. It's over here, chat. Like, I know it's over here. I just can't translate how this map looks compared to this map, like how far over there. Because this map isn't divided into chunks like the other one, which is very handy. This is quite a distance away. I think I just have to go east and hope. How far down does this go? Far. But not into lava, so... It's something. Okay, don't go down there because I don't know how to get back up. Ah, this looks like this, the cup of a carpenter. Wither bee nest. It's fun. Where'd you come from? How dare you light me on fire? These are neat bones. God, soul sand is so slow. Get them soul speed boots. Okay, so I'm beginning to understand that the, the thing on the map, that when it lights up as a giant fortress shape, that's where the fortress is. Yeah. You don't say. But it's not on my Z level, which is or my Y level, which is sort of the problem. Is it above me? Is, it, is this, did you do this? Did you put the basalt and just climbed? Is that the thing? Oh, yeah, that's probably where I uh, fell to my doom in the lava from the weird bird thing. The weird bird thing? Yeah, there's the, the soul vulture things. Oh, those guys. They're fun. All right, so I guess we're going to have to climb the nether rack to get in there. It's fine. Oops. Spider hisses. There are spiders in the nether? No, nope, there's wraiths. Pretending to be spiders. I'm sure anything horrible you can dream of, you can find in the nether. Multiple wraiths. That port should be forwarded. From... Doesn't seem to actually be doing any damage. Should I be worried about that? Here. Does it do psychic damage? There's an enderman. There's an enderman. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah. Endy boy, I don't care about you. Do I have my ender thing yet? No. Oh, but didn't I get a book of? Yeah, that's right. I put Envil on that on that thing that I'm never giving back to George. Remember that now. Oh, would you steal from me now? Not a thing. Did you steal that unbreakable thing from me? Not a thing. Wonder if my OBS version of this chat died. It's back. Really? Okay. Oh, wait, I do want to go that way. Just kidding. 
Hey there, Java Jack. Hey, Java Jack. How you doing? Okay. I'm back to the game. I've got my bot. Everything's Java great. Jack. Fire. Hmm. I mean, generally a fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just had to reorganize my port forwarding for the new ports and new forwards and whatnot. Oh, yeah, when we move, I the, expect the server to go crazy for a while. <laughs> oh, man, my pick is so borked. Ah! That's not what I wanted. It didn't sound like it was what you wanted. There may have been a lava incident. Maybe. Who's to say? <laughs> right, so if there's lava in the way... Do I need to go up then to get around it? Generally, that's the case, right? Um, generally, if you are built... If you're digging through a tunnel, there's only yeah. one piece of lava. You just place a block to destroy it, and then you'll be fine. Rainforest, is that where I find jungle? I mean, that does sound like a place where you would find jungle logs. Mostly rosewood. Weird. All right, I was not fast enough. So the question becomes, I guess, is it up here? No, all right, perfect. Ah, here we are, bamboo clearing. Okay, so I gotta go there. So you think that may have done it? That did it. All right, cool. Thank you for the advice. There's a ghast somewhere. How dare. How dare they? How ghastly of them. I have almost broken through. Will a ghast activate on me if they cannot see me? No, they have to be able Perfect. to see you. And they cannot see through glass and things like that. Well, I've got nether rack in the way, so I think that should do. Yeah. There's one on both sides of me now. That's exciting. A glorious Am I just in the wrong level for this? I should be right on it. I wonder if it's above me. No frog, it's right behind you. Nah, I'm covered in rocks, I'm not that worried. I think legitimately it's above me, though. Because according to this, I should be at the, the fortress. But I can see the fortress at the top level of the M map, mm -hmm. which is what leads me to believe that um, I need to go up. Another X not tough on the tools. Waiting for server. Apparently not. Good lord. Am I, am I not in line with this? No, I'm very much in line with it, so. We'll keep operating on the assumption I'm below it. Stupid tree.
feel like I should have put torches in here to at least let me know which way was the right way to go, but whatever. Eh, minor details. I'm doing a pretty stereotypical 3x3 three three single width staircase, so shouldn't be that bad. I hear piglins grunting more and more, so that's probably a good sign, right? Did I just drop through my own tunnel? How the hell did that happen? Oh, because I cut one too low. Well, I'm out. So now we definitely will put a torch here. I don't know where the heck I am. But I should be on this damn thing. <clears throat> How did you see me? Oh, because you're over there. Good Lord. <laughs> okay. There's a bee over there. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Balls. So wither skeletons obviously cannot catch fire. Indeed. I assume you say this because you've been trying to set them on fire. Because I, I had, that's what my, one of my trinkets is. Okay. Things target me, they burst into flames. And they do not. How do you end up way the hell up here? Oh, God, I'm going the wrong way. Give me this back. It's the wrong way. Give me that back. Oh, I got a full wither skeleton skull that time. That's cool. Oh, nice. So just a piece at a time. Now you can taste the rainbow. What are you? Are you a bee? Yes, you're a bee. Okay, so let's grab these. And some lava. See how it looks. Where did that torch go? Oh, it's on that side? I swear to God, where is this thing? <laughs> like, I want to look for it on my map, but the stupid gas is making me nervous. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Hold on. Come here, B. I think I went up too high, maybe. Should be just north and east of where I am. This is east. That's north. Like through that wall. Oh, there's two of them now. Good. Good. I was thinking I could use some more gas. Now you're cooking with gas. Coming from the outside corner. Not All right, so we're going to go this way now. Corner. Let's 
Alt. This whole thing down by three. Uh, uh, iron. I better have sticks. God damn it. I have eight withered bones, which is apparently a thing now, along with my skull Ooh. fragments. Yes, yes, you're very scary. Absolutely horrifying. Hey, game, what do you think about despawning those uh, ghasts? I'll just kick that back. That should be good. Question of how does it look? Yeah. Oh, darn it, I did it again. So we kind of only want to have it three away from this. How does that keep happening? I feel like I don't have control over my pickaxe. Well, it keeps digging one lower than I expect sometimes. I swear to God, I have no idea what's going on and why I can't find this thing. me around oh, oh good lord i am not breaking that brick game I don't know what you can make netherrack or use netherrack to make, but I got a whole lot of it now. I'm apparently never getting out of this mountain either. But why would you even want to? Well, because I'm on a blaze hunt is the whole thing. Hmm. So I'd really like to access this, this fortress that I can see on the map, but cannot find in the real world. Oh my god. So, should I just kill zombie villagers? Well, I mean, you can heal them. How would I do that? Oh, with that with the with the apple and the potion thing. Mhm. Mm All right. Yeah, it seems like a lot of work. If you're in a village, no, and you don't 
Oh, I was going to say, because the iron golems will take care of them, too. Anyone know what the Y coordinate of bedrock is? In the nether? The top Before of Before I it? get zero is the answer. At the, uh, at the bottom, zero. The top is... Well, I'm sitting at 111. Yeah, it might only be 128. I don't think it's 256. Well, then where is this fortress? Well, if you're wondering if you're going to hit the top, it's probably lower. I mean, I can't, I just, I can't find this damn thing. I just got hit by. Ugh. Pushed out. A wraith has followed me upstairs. How dare! I'm checking my map, wraith. Wait your turn. Hmm. Your time will come. You've gone bananas. Gone bananas. I guess it's because I have a banana. Delightful. Now to eat said banana. Might as well go up to bedrock at this point. No, I'm not hungry. All right, I think I have enough jungle logs now. What are you using them with those uh, jungle logs? I was gonna. I, I found some cocoa beans somewhere. I was going to uh, plant a tree. Cool. Let's see. Found it. Where was it? Uh, this one is at 124, so 128 is probably the answer. I wish I could break through bedrock. Oh, wait, this is... Again, what did you do to finally break through the bedrock? Um, I used, um... The mineral Some one. spell? No. The mineral mod. Uh, integrated dynamics. Can anyone help me interpret this map? Chat? Anybody? <laughs> there are this cross section right here My is the freaking thing. Somehow, this has become the top level as I've gone through here. I think I just need to dig straight down. However, in the nether, that's one of the worst pieces of advice you could ever give. Because Not as bad as dig straight down in the end, but still bad. <laughs> Mine a staircase. One, two, three. Well, I just went up a staircase and it didn't help. I meant down. Yeah, staircasing down is no ne nowhere near as bad as staircasing up. Again. Uh, it's showing it's the other way for me. Off by two, three. It's going to take me years to get back to where I was. Well, I found an opening. 
Oh shit, that stupid satchel. Oh right, I still need it to be there though. I don't understand. I should be able to be looking right down at it. Where have you ever gone into it, Light, or did you just see it on the map? Um, I went into just the tiniest bit of it, but it was down close to where I died. Am I wearing my bunny slippers? It's an important question. Yes. <laughs> so we'll shift by two. Glowstone B, you should come closer. All right, so that's where I started this whole fracas. I remember being down in that valley with that lava. And then I climbed up this thing because I didn't see the thing. All right, let's just go down. Oh, that's terrifying. Glowstone B, wait. Stay there. You have to say hello. Excuse me, Enderman, you. get out of... Get out of the hole. Is that the first bee I've caught? That seems unlikely. Huh, and yet? All right, so I'm back at this thing. I look my way all the way through that. It's not there. It should be north of me right now. If I look north of me, it's this thing. It's so confusing. Okay, so that's one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two. One. 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 And you've been in it. Was it across this thing? Was that my mistake? Should I have just gone across this? This is where the gas is, but, you know. And now I'm off by quite a bit. Why am I off by quite a bit now? We've been over there, too. That's where those things were. The satchel's going to get me killed. Um, oh, it's an enderman. It's fine. It's fine. He's not going to attack. We have an end veil. You have end veil. Just calm. Hello, friend, as you have always been. You've been in it. That's way too far away. Well, those are nether bricks too, though. That's what, I mean, nether bricks are only gonna be part of fortresses, right? That is correct. All right. And then this is the bomb. This is not the way. Oh, I got looped back. What is all this? Unknown type? Wait, there's rail? Well, obviously rail's not going to just be out in the wild. <laughs> you wouldn't think... Unless there's like I, that thing's going to get me killed. Um, am I safe here? I think I'm safe-ish. Trolls. Satchel. We need not shift S. We need... Troll shift S. I can't do that. We need... Control B? Nope, that's the fucking narrator. <laughs> narrator. And frog did push buttons. Minus. You're now the minus sign. Okay. So if we follow this, it comes along, and it's two right. blocks shy of where I want it to be. Control B is now waypoint manager, open satchel. Restock is shift B. I don't know what that is. Man, this this village that got placed on the side of a mountain is absolutely bonkers. 
Okay, that works just fine. Cool. Now I can sneak again and not worry about falling off. You have a village on a mountain. Sounds super cool. Yeah, except most of the doors are blocked off by jacaranda bushes, and there's like several doors that just open right into the mountainside. And uh, the v little fields they plant have literally just are just flowing down the side of it, like uh, like my last base. I heard a piglin. Sir, where are you, sir? One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, one, one, one. One, two. And now it's too far. I have found dirt. I have miscounted the curve. That's why it didn't line up last time. Okay. So if we continue this to its finish. Where's the rail? It's one oh my god, I hate the nether so much. That is some very lovely archwood, however. The crimson stem is called. Oh no, yeah. something is attacking me. It's a giant boar. Both of which vanilla. The piglins are attacking it. Uh huh. Thanks for the pork chops. Okay. We appear to be friends. Oh, I need those boots back. Give me those boots. Theoretically, one, two, three, four. I'm in some sort of mycelial forest and not at all a freaking thing. It's probably fine. Totally. Also, the chances of me ever getting back to my portal now are very, very slim. Hmm. I hate the nether so much. Yep, I have now lost where I came into this area. Where are those pigs? Hey, pigs, where are you? They're probably over me. This should be symmetrical. So. I have completely lost where I came through into this area. Oh my god. This is so typical. I hate the nether. almost want to die, except that all my stuff is on me, so it's a horrible idea. I need to soul bound my remote control, assuming you can do it. So in that way, I can just put everything into my network, kill myself, <laughs> and then still have my remote control. Death warping. Yeah, I have no idea why I came through into this area. All right. Fortress has to be here somewhere. We'll worry about getting home later. Yeah, we've got enough space to put things away. Waiting for server. Keep waiting for server. Well, probably because I'm exploring all this area. Yeah, I've completely passed it. Where is the fortress? 
where you least expect it. That's not helpful. It claims to be the top level, which is just mind-boggling. Yeah, I, I can't imagine that's true. Unless there's nothing but stone above it. Like netherrack. Mm -hmm. All right, since I can't get home anyway, I might as well just go down into the stupid forest. <laughs> oh, I don't have any gold. I wish I had silk touch. Yeah, I'm so far away. be doing the, the thing again with the portal. Oh, you're stuck? Oh. It's okay now. Let's try that one more time. Freaked out a little bit, but everything's fine. Probably because I'm giving it conniptions trying to explore the damn nether, and I have no idea where I am. Well, I've got... I should be uh, in the thing right now. I've got a small idea where you are. I'm in the nether. Well, like, I can kind of see you on my map. You're in the nether, too? Yeah, I was just coming through and... I was like, I haven't been to that fortress, really. And so I figured I should stop by. Oh, I see you now. Yeah, don't, don't, don't follow me. I don't know where the hell is this thing is. I'm in a nightmare situation right now. I'm, I'm literally lost in the nether. I don't know how to get back up. So let's see. Oh, you're over there. Yeah, because I was trying to find, I, I saw the yeah, tracks. Yes. So I'm like, all right, I'll follow the tracks. Maybe we can get somewhere. All right, so I'm climbing back up. In game, so. Oh, all the way over that way. Interesting. Let's see what I can find over here. Wait, where'd that pigman just go? Pig bro. You disappeared and reappeared. How did you do that through a wall? What's your Y? Hmm. Uh, 63. I'm at 72. I'm aflamed. Okay, that was not the way. That is a fancy hatch you got there, piggy. Oh, you're way up there now. Oh, you're down there. Yeah, I've never been as far north as you are right now. I was just following the wall. Ah! He's firing at me. Someone's... How? 
How is she firing at you? Where are you? <laughs> There's like a mountain in the way between me and you. I don't understand. It happens. Another. Are like you that. still? I, I hate the Nether so much. I oh, cannot figure out how to get to where you are. Um, There's some fish and chips if you ever could get to me. Oh yeah, there is a uh, bit of a wall between us. Like I'm staring right at you now, except that I'm not. What's your why? I'm at seventy-one now. Sixty-three. Still at sixty-three. I hear digging. Yep, because I'm coming towards you. Because there this are is piglins Minecraft. here, by the way, if you have no gold. I'm good. Hello. Hello. What is that armor? Uh, the chest is Gerber Quartz Ironclad Tunic of Latent Magic of Tenacity. Uh, it's oh. from Immersive Engineering. Sweet. Um, yeah, so if we go back this way. Watch out for the hog. I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't mind the fire noises. <laughs> I was just standing by the the anti-pig thing. Is that wolf dangerous? A little bit. But, like, not really. And we're here. Oh, this place. Is this not how you get to the fortress? So... <laughs> The bit of fortress that I remember finding Jesus, was, are they that weak or is your sword just that good? They're that weak. Okay. Um, I have no magic sword stand or soul sand capabilities, so I did sure. go, I did walk this way. Ah. Wait, are you up now? Um, not particularly. I don't see you anymore. Oh, there you are. Okay. So. It was down this. Hold, oh, please. Is there a race spawner down there or something? I don't know. They just are everywhere. What just broke? Something just broke. My leggings! My pads! Ah. Oh, that's bad. They were part of a set, actually. Oh, that sucks hardcore. That was my mana weave set. Oh, no. Yep. You know, you'll have to steal, steal some more from me, then. That one I didn't steal. Those were actually mine. Like the story. No, I stole the helmet fair and square. I'll tell you that for sure. But the, the leggings were mine. Keep one potato, cook the rest. Yeah. Okay, and it sucks. So, so yeah. my set bonus. No. All right, where are we going? Down here, um, you said. Oh shit. Oh. I just fell a little bit. Oh. A little bit. How little? Uh, I'm at 33. Oh. Wraith. <clears throat> Hold on. Come back. Where, where, how high am I supposed to go in? Still, still in the 60s? I'm at 58 and working my way down. Trying I'll to find a that shaft place. Here. Yeah, I'm trying to find that place that I found when I fell down a shaft. Oh, I found... A cave. And there's a piggy down there. I have lost you. Oh, there you are. So that giant shaft I just fell down, did you create stairs down here now or something? Uh, yeah. 
Right, I'm going this way. Oi, piggy. Nope, that's the giant shaft. I don't see how you got down there. I just see a giant shaft. Ow. Where are you? Um, so oh, I hate it, the nether. It was back around the corner towards the uh, towards the nether rack type area. This uh, one. Okay. okay. If you go now. just a little farther to the uh, south, you will end up in a very very long pit. <laughs> oh look! My mouse is back. Zombified piglin spawner and nether brick. Uh huh. Okay. So then the question is, where does this go from here? And so this is what I found. And I didn't realize that was all there was. Well, theoretically. And so maybe there are nether dungeons now. Oh, no. And that's what that is. Piggy, please get out of the way. Um, but from my map interpretation, the part of the nether fortress that you say with the gray around it could be at any level. You're Perfect. more likely to be able to find the one farther south. Because of its size? Um, partially because of the size, partially because it's surrounded by lava, and so its visibility mm. will be higher. I just have to figure out how to get there. Yeah. <sighs> oh, goody, there's a gas. Maybe not stare at the map, huh? <laughs> Wait, you're back this way. No, you're not. That's where the piglins are. You must be out of this and up and around. Yeah, I'm out and up. This is not where we were. Did you do this? No, this is not the way out. God damn it. I hate the nether! <laughs> I amen to that sometimes. Oh, don't fall down there. There's freaking lava at the bottom of that one. Yeah, I don't remember how the heck we went up. There's not a lot of navigable terrain around here. I'm coming back Excuse me, now. Piggy. Is this where I'm going? Yeah, excuse me, Pig. Yes, excuse me. this way. Well, that's cheating. <laughs> Where did you go? Did you fall or did you launch yourself up? I launched up. Yeah, I thought so. So I said cheating and then I didn't see you on the map at all anymore. I was like, well, maybe he didn't launch up. Maybe he, <laughs> he actually fell down. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a, a sense for the terrain. I don't want to be, get back to our gates, so that's this way. All right, so I'm relatively safe here, which sounds crazy, but is yet true. Um, hello. Hello. Yeah. So we would need to go, go way to south. Uh, to I the think gates. I just need to go back to the gate. No, yeah. the gates are through the thing. Which is kind of south, so it'll give you a sense for server maybe something. Uh, mine just crashed, I think. Oh no. Yeah, pretty sure. Oh, there we go. 
We back? All right, we're back. So, zombies. Hello. It should just be that guy. Actually, I might be able to see it. Yeah, like if you just look south from there, you might be able to see it. I see lava. I see France. I see. <laughs> oh, you're over there. Yeah, because this is where my portal is. Oh, I went too far. Yeah, it's those pillars over there those pillars over there the tall things going down into the yeah. rock that basalt um not the skinny one the fatter one's a little farther all right hold on i suspect my Southeast. night vision goggles are screwing things up nope Oh, wait, yeah, it was, because the effect takes a while to wear off. Got it. Yeah, it does. Strider? Oh, there's Striders. What a cutie. Okay. So, the thick one off to the left? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, so can you see me down here? Hold on. I don't know if you, you can or not. You're, whoa, you're over there? Wait. Which is... No. I'm looking in your direction, but no. Are you down on the platform past the striders? Like, are there a bunch of striders between you and me? Yeah. Okay, so I can see... Okay, yeah, now I see you running. You were hidden behind the thing. Okay, so like this... This big fat pillar here and then the big fat one over there too so those are the bottom we would have to go up the pillars yeah okay all right let me get out of here and regroup at my base which if you're looking for it is to the like if you go west and then south from where your portal is just follow the land mass you'll see two mm -hmm. Uh, torches, and then the way down to my portal is there. There's also apparently a giant magma bouncy boy right by my portal, so that's kind of fun. Like, giant magma bouncy boy. It happens. Stay away, magma bouncy boy. Alright. Oh. I can breathe now. I can think and I can plan. So the best method might be to build our way over there, I guess. Potentially. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a quick break. Um, uh, use the restroom real quick, and then I'll be right back to have all that fun stuff. Oh, the break things are on. Oh, no, I, I need to change my menu. How do I turn these on? This. I need this on. There we go. As cute as my cats are. Uh, this is a much better break. I'll be back in just a minute. Oh. Pretty sure there's a spawner right here. I don't want a spawner. I want a launch pad. Ow! Stop poking me! I'm free. Not to fly. That flies. Not nearly as cool as, you know, 
cool stuff. Back to making my castle. So, I would like to be full height by here. Full height is... Five higher. Yeah, probably five higher. So we need to break this into ten sections. Just start it from about here. Yeah, probably right about here. Oh, thank goodness for bunny slippers. Yay, bunny slippers. Take that one wrong step and you find yourself plummeting about 50 Z levels. Great. <laughs> I went downstairs on my break. Wait, where's my screen? <laughs> Isn't that your screen? Oh, George, is, George was missing. That's okay. I wasn't doing anything much. Like, what the heck's going on? Uh, but I'm glad I went downstairs to say hi to Mr. Frog, because, one, I got a cookie, which, plus. Nice. But I also forgot to take my meds. Oh, no. By now, I took care of it. They just tell me, as a diabetic, you know, you should probably take your meds. Probably. Yeah, maybe. All right, so I should just get a bunch of netherrack. And away we go. Given, God, I'm really pissed about losing those leggings. Given ghasts, I would recommend something a little uh, stronger. Stronger than what? Stronger I mean, than netherrack? Like, like what? Cobblestone? Literally Cobblestone? anything? Cobblestone? Yeah, they can't blow up cobblestone? Uh, they have a harder time. They'll cut through just piles of netherrack, though. All right, well. Cobble it is. What type of cobble? <laughs> does, does it, does I'm pretty it matter? sure they're all about the same. All right, well, I only have like 2,000 cobblestones, so just have to do the best we can. All right, which way are we going again? south from where I am? Oh, you've already started building. Uh, no, I have done no such thing. I'm back in the end. Why does the map look like there's been... Oh, <laughs> the east-west crosshair. Alright, so I'm here. I think I should go south of where I am. 
and then cut east. That's probably going to be the best thing. So if I do that, that's north, Brock. So if I do that, I mean, I should just build it here. Screw it. Can you make cobblestone stairs? Mm -hmm. Pretty sure. Yes. All right. Don't fill me now. Eat little crosshair thing. Got him. I feel like maybe I should be building walls on the side of this as well, so that way we can't get knocked off into the lava. Yeah, maybe. Why wouldn't I have just built it from over there? I'm an absolute idiot. Like, seriously, why would I not have just built it from... <sighs> Whatever, I wasted half a stack. Who cares? Uh, Frog, you still in uh, multi-view? Oh, I am. You're right. Sorry. Because <laughs> I can go this way, at least, and save building materials. Could go this far. I don't know if I was supposed to kill you, Foxhound, but you jumped at me and I was terrified. Sorry. Drop bear wheezes. Sheesh. I don't think that's a villager. No. <laughs> not in the nether, it's not. I wouldn't think there'd be many villagers in the uh, nether, but, you know. Yet. How did I not... Ugh. Bollocks. Wraith, I'm dealing with... I'm dealing with double. I don't have time for you. Ah, oh, shit. And now I've got lag going on, too. Retreat! Retreat! Are we safe enough here? You know, the most annoying thing is that when you kill a ghast at range, you don't get its tears. Mm. I almost want to bring some demon fruit down here. Demon fruit? 
Yeah, to light permanent purple fires. You could as oh, like use your flint and steel. No, but those are actual fires. Like I want it to be purple. Ah. Oh. <laughs> So that way I know which ones were me and not the ones that were the stupid mm, I see. Um, gas. My only problem with the race is that whatever sword I have is not good enough. Like the gas I can kind of just ignore, but the wraiths are kind of a pain in the ass. What the hell is this? That is gorgeous. <laughs> it's a circle of bloody nylon. I found a blood island. Oh my god, it's a slime island. Uh-huh. Oh, it's an it's another blood slime island? Yeah, it's congealed blood. It's pools of blood instead of other stuff. That's disgusting. It's charming. Congealed ichor and congealed blood. Still just as bouncy. I have gone too far south. Wait a minute. The fortress is here. It's right there. We've done it. We've done uh, it, Chuck. Can you make ladders out of stone? Um, that's a good question. Can you do it while dodging freaking wither skeletons? Um, if you're kind of pro, sure. Um... Oak ladders, metal ladders. I don't see any stone ladders. A bunch of different wood ladders. Oh, I kind of like that crimson ladder. There's actually fewer ladders in this one. Murado ladder. Sad. Deadwood. I just don't have a lot of bone. wood. Oh, but only if you have dusty bone sticks. From dusty bones. From skeletal fish. Uh, I have been to a tomb. Oh, I forgot about that. That's the other thing I did. I've been to a tomb. Oh. There's a portal to a tomb in my base now. It's freaking awesome. Portal to a tomb? Yeah, A-T-U-M. It's oh. super cool. That's why I didn't end up searching for this. Also super dangerous. Yeah, like legit. <laughs> But I found a village. We're friends now. Okay, so I just need a ladder. It's all you need. And I, I've got dark oak, but I don't want to waste my dark oak. Can I make ladders out of ba baobab, you think? Yeah, I'm pretty oh. sure it, it converts to oak. Sticks and planks. Yeah, okay, so we just need planks. Do I have any planks? No. All right, first off, put that back, and 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 those back, and that back, and pork chops, and give me this. Let's convert all this in. Give me some sticks. I don't know how many ladders I'm going to need, but we'll start with this. 16 ladders. 16 candles. Oh, this is too wide. Oh, also, we don't have the auto continue mod. What auto continue mod? The one that lets you build ladders even when you like you can just click on it and it keeps building them up. Ah. Uh. We don't have that. Only three more. Okay. I don't know where the gas is, which I'm trying not to do this too stupidly. All righty.
we're in. Ooh, a terrible fortress. Yeah, it's an actual fortress. Okay. Nice. How dangerous are magma cubes? Not fairly. very. You said fairly? I said barely. Oh, okay. Like, they can kill you, but you kind of have to try. Or they need help. Right. How'd I get this? I don't know. What is it? Do you have an affix item? Ironclad Iron Desert Boots. The Iron Desert set does look pretty cool. All right. I need to get some stuff. Wait. Wither Nether Bricks? Yeah, yeah. Take these Nether Bricks and put them at the end of the hallway. What are you? Fetch me their soul. Oh, Soul Vulture. That's the thing that knocked me into the, the abyss that one time. Well, this is why I'm I'm stealing some of these uh, bricks. Where's the ladder? Is it on this one? Here. assuming that they can't get rid of nether brick like the gas are not going to destroy nether brick uh probably not All right, I have lit our way. I like some bat wings or something. I have found a gilded scroll of intricate. Shared scroll makes it possible to hone the magic capacity of a module. Oh, it is intricate. Interesting. This isn't scary at all. I don't know what you're talking about. I hear one. I think they're upstairs. Well, this stairway is covered in lava, so that's not safe. Let's not go that way. Which is a silly place. I see one. Come here, buddy. Uh, can we get out of the menu, please? Thank you. Got him. Yeah, there's more. Down we go. Not that one. That one's dangerous. Down we go. All right, this one just says fungus at the bottom. All right. Oh, no. I need more papa. All right, um, it feels crazy to just bail, right? Have you found the uh, nether wart? Oh, that's what you found. Uh, have you I found the blaze spawner? No, but I found a blaze. <laughs> Do I have any water? No. Oh, it doesn't work down here anyway. 
Um, the blaze spawner's got to be above me somewhere. I've got some lava in the way that I kind of really would like to block out, but I don't know how to do that. I mean, I know, look, I know how to do that. I'm not sure the best way to do that in this instance is what I mean. Let's grab this golden chest first. Okay. Tablet of sunrise, a blue bomb. Summons orbiting projectiles that will launch at nearby enemies. That sounds good. Let's do that. What's attacking me? Oh my god, there's so much stuff up here. <laughs> oh my god, I almost jumped off the damn thing. Down we go. Remember I said I was gonna I was keen to explore this? Mm -hmm. Lie. Has the keenness faded? There's a lot of stuff up there. I've got what I've come for. Let's just continue on our current quest and we'll come back to this later. What the hell was that? Oh, it's a soul vulture. Okay, I don't care about that. Can I just jump down from here? Yes. Oh, I didn't even bounce! Some s s island you are. <laughs> soul sand burns forever, doesn't it? Sure does. Jesus. I'm going to be a lot less cavalier about these freaking holes in the world. What is firing at me now? Come on. Zombie Piglin, help me out here. I have enough shards. I don't need you. All right. So if you take my portal or your portal, doesn't matter which, you head south along the raised well it's not raised for your portal so you just head south along your platform and just keep going and going and going you will eventually get to uh the soul sand that's on fire if you go a little west of that uh you will see the blood slime island and then there's a ladder to the fortress from the blood slime island Tablet used for rituals. Ars Nouveau. Okay. Put on my good boots. See, I didn't have a chance to put mending on those mana weave leggings. I shouldn't have been quite so cavalier. What do we do with the blaze burner now? Just literally put it right underneath. All right, man, that seems straightforward enough. Except you're gonna need a blaze. I had I the blaze. I caught the blaze. That's what starts oh, this. So then, then, then what you do is you just feed it coal from here on out. Or the cakes. Yes. So there's this thing. Oh, let's go back to here. Oh, let's go back to here. So blaze cakes, it can get hit hotter whatever those are. Um, and then if you put a deployer or a mechanical arm, you can automate the thing. And it will feed it automatically. Hence the automation part. Up we go. Okay, I blocked all of that off.
Hello, cats. We're still using the library? I am. Almost running out of space. Oh, wait, all of these things can go in. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Cydia, Evidas, Evorcio, and all the rest of the constellation papers are nothing. So I want to do something in purple around the edge for the crenellation. Yeah, let's do the crenellation first. Five basic things for constellations. I'm going to assume that's the case. All right, cool. So there's the blaze sitting in a little cage. So then I just toss some coal in him, and he'll be happy. Yep, I gave the coal blaze a piece of coal. Now he's happy. We can finally make brass. Huzzah! I don't remember how. Two redstone links. Oh, you're just too kind. The quests—they are un unimaginable. What? Huh? What about Monty? You, George, you are now unmuted. If you thought you've been <laughs> unmuted this whole time and you just hit the mute button, it's been the reverse. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your. I'm sorry to hear about whatever cat or dog or whatever got out. But that was the first thing we've heard you say in about ten minutes. Oh, that's that's heartening. Ah, uh... so your mute was reversed. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, you're doing astral sorcery. Yeah, yeah. If you need nice. some stuff, you can pop over here and I can help you out. But my cat no, likes no. to sit on my chest full of stuff over here, so. No, it's fine. Um, I, I was just uh, contemplating how many, because I have some scrolls now and only five of them have names. And so I figured that must be the base is five. Yeah, yeah. You got it. You know what you're doing. It's been a while, but yeah. All right, now what? Now I need to make blaze cakes. How do you make a blaze cake? Filling by spout. It's literally lava into a blaze cake base. Blaze cake base. It's an egg, sugar, cinder, and a compactor. I don't have a compactor. I have a mixer. Wait, cinder flour? What the hell? That comes from Netherrack in the crushing wheels. I hate this game. It's fine. <laughs> That's what I've been going for this whole time is these damn crushing wheels. All right, so Blaze Cake comes later. Can I make Builder's Tea? Yes, if I mix leaves, water, and milk, heated over blazing powder, I can get Builder's Tea. Okay, so we could make that. But I'm not in a hurry. And I assume you have to put it in like, you have to fill it somehow. There's a filling by spout. Yeah, so I put it into this thing, put it into that thing. Yeah, okay. That's not in the quest, for the record. Oh, never mind. It is. It's over here. It's not a bitch. Well, now we can create blast brass plates. The brass plate is by smushing an ingot. The ingot comes from, not packing, I need mixing, comes from mixing copper and zinc in a thing with heated things. Heated things, you say? Uh huh. I do have some copper ingots. I have four zinc ingots. Let's make some. Let's make some stuff. So if I can, I right click you. Do I put it in the basin? All right, toss it in the basin. Cool. Are you not on anymore? Oh, you got shy. Okay, no problem.
I just applied a filter to a basin. How do I stop it? It's not working. What am I missing? Is it too low? Oh my god, is it one too low? No, because I tried to make it higher. I don't know. No, stop throwing that in. No. Get out of here. What am I missing? It's heated. I got the blaze going. You can hear it. Next step. Set to set everything on fire. Oh, obviously, I'm missing something. I put a copper and a zinc ingot in the basin. Does it just have to sit there and heat up for a while? Everything else in Minecraft is pretty quick. Hmm. Copper ingot, zinc ingot. Copper ingot, zinc ingot. Heated. Is it just because the mixer's not fast enough? The mixer's not going up and down. Oh, it's not rotating with enough speed. That's it. Uh, it's 100% what's happening. Because for some reason, it's half the speed of this thing. I don't know why, but it is. So if we take my wrench and then take a shaft, we're going to do this. Because I don't need this right now, so you're going to go away. And we're going to do Oh, that works that way. I'm like, how the hell is that even working? Oh, it's still at 16 because this gear translates the speed. I hate this mod. <laughs> Somehow this slows it down. I don't think it should, but it does. So that runs at 32, but this runs at 16. I could have an alloy kiln right now. This mod looks really cool, but apparently is very impractical. Unless I'm just missing something. Just missing something? Have either of you used... Well, obviously George hasn't. Have you used Create? Um, A little bit. But I, I never saw it as something super efficient. No, it's pretty awful. Um, but l the speeds really come down to working with the cogwheels. And well, but that's, so this is the thing that I can't, I don't like. Hmm? So I've got. Uh, the speed appears to be SU, even though they say that's different things. Maybe, no, it's, maybe it's not. How do I not know? I thought if I had these goggles on, it was supposed to show me the speed, not just the stress. Yeah, I thought that too. Shows colored indicators to the speed level. I mean, I am wearing it. So 
because there should theoretically be a colored indicator on this thing, and there's not. It does give me the kinetic stats, but not the speed. It just says it's not moving with enough speed. I need to be able to see the speed. Um, look at the, the cogwheel that's trying to spin it. I have nothing off the cogwheel. Nothing? No, nothing. Because I thought you would be able to get information from shafts and cogwheels, too. Nah. Is it because my googly eyes? That would be silly. That would be very strange. I have no idea what button I just hit there. Okay. So it's colored indicator is according to the spawning speed level of place kinetic component. Yeah, you would think that, I mean, a, a shaft is a kinetic component. So is there something in these mod interactions that's screwing that up, I wonder? Perhaps. It's like, I know when I look in JEI at a mixer, I could see the speed requirement is moderate, for instance. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing that shows me how things are spinning. Because if I look, right, this is this is slow all the way down. Like, this shaft is just slow because it's a windmill. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just need to put more sail on and be done with it. No, the sail's not going to make it faster. It's Windmills not? are slow. Okay. That you need the interaction between the big cogs and the little cogs to turn it from slow to fast. All right. Well, I barely passed physics. So does anyone have any recommendations for how to figure that out? Um, I would recommend just putting a big one and attach it to a small one and see if it's going faster or slower. And then if it's not what you want, swap them. Okay. All right. So right now I've got, that's a waste. Why is that not just a shaft? My myelite? Well, please. Now, the problem is, I can't see if it's faster. I mean, maybe it'll be obvious. I don't know. It Here's a little obvious. cog. There's a big wheel. Here's a little cog. Okay, I get it. I get it. Bigger to smaller is faster. Stands to reason, right? because there are fewer spokes on the smaller ones, so it's making more rotations per big rotation. Mm -hmm. But that's only one, like I can only do that once. Well, if you take that smaller cog and then attach yeah. a large cog to the shaft, Oh. The big cog is now going the speed of the faster small cog, and then you can yeah, attach I it to you. another small cog. I get you. So the theory is, during this giant downward thing, this is where I should be ramping up the speed. Probably. Because I could go left, right, left, right, left, right. So I need a bunch of cogs, which means I need a bunch of buttons, which means I need to go harvest a bunch of wood. Which makes me really want to go back to cultism and get myself a tree harvester. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, A leads to B leads to why didn't I do it this way in the first place? Uh -huh. Or you could set up create to do a tree farm too. You yeah, but that's the that whole right. Possible. That's the whole right side of the tech tree. I've been ignoring the right <laughs> side. 
Because that, that, now i got to start getting the mechanical pistons, and I have to power them, and it, the tree farm is unfortunately not near my wind farm. I guess I could set up water wheels, because that there's plenty of water over there. We have precedent for not looking at stuff too hard, so. Water wheel. Yeah, it's slower than the water wheel, than the windmill. Well, that's not going to happen then. Furnace engine. I could do that, but I guess a tree farm doesn't necessarily have to be fast. attaches whole trees in a single swoop. So theoretically, I could put a machine that has lateral piston motion to rip through my trees. I could I could leave it off, push a, like add a redstone signal that would push it, right? Theoretically. So then that way it would not interfere with growth. It would just be there and then zoop, and then it's done. But then I got to do this to get to this. Christ. No. I'm just going to go cut some trees. <laughs> also, this is clunky as hell. I really need to fix this part, too. In you go. Because we need a bunch of cogs. I guess I can leave these in here. Eventually, there'll be enough speed. No matter what happens, I'm very proud of how I was able to revitalize this village. Yay, revitalization. I don't what think a single villager has gone to the other side yet, but that's all right. I probably need another bell, bell if I'm going to be honest. The village is too big for one. Man, I still need more mile. What's up, emus? Did you know I can use your eggs to make a cake? like seven, six or seven emus now. All right, let's chop some trees. Emu, if you run in front of me when I'm wielding an axe, I can't promise what's going to happen. <laughs> They're angry, not intelligent. No, they don't seem that angry. You haven't seen them at war. It's true. Like 25 logs seems like enough, but then you realize buttons are the least... Like, it... Of all the things in this game that frustrate me, that might be right near the top of the list, because how wasteful... In the base mm -hmm. game, I get it. 
But like when you have a sawmill, what why why? Like there's no reason you shouldn't be able to get six or seven out of one log. Or one plank rather. Hmm. Just to mess with you. Emu, what did I tell you? Alright, that should be enough. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you guys saw in the chat, but I do have my librarian. Um, where is the librarian? There he is. He's selling in, uh, in books of Envale. If you want to get yourself some Envale. That's cool. I'm currently using my uh, trinket, but if I need oh, to swap good. out, it's good to know. I was looking to get one for mending, so I'm going to have to create another villager at some point because I'm going to need another librarian because I need one that has mending, but we'll get to that. All right. Uh, sawmill. All right, 32 buttons to start. So big to small equals what we need. So chat, if you're anything like me, you're going to have to ignore what this looks like and remember that it's up in the tower and nobody's going to see it. Cuz it's going to clip like mad into the bricks and that's just that's just how it is. So I need more blanks. Got it. Like six of these. Am I out of andesite? This game, though. I hope this is a rotational formula. Okay, good. All right, I've now made eight of these. That should be enough. All right, let's see how much faster we can get this. I don't know what the ratio is, but we can get this faster. All right. First things first, we also need some stone. So I have something to stand on. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're a sheep. We get it. Oh, I left my... Th oh. Whatever. Shovel. Alright, so we're going to start right there. Big to small. Big to small. Big to small. Big to small. You see it from the outside. It's all that matters. No, you cannot. Good. <laughs> oh, we got to go down one. Okay. All right, we can do that. Otherwise, it'll attach back to the top, and obviously that defeats the whole purpose. Oh, we got this sucker flying now. All right, down we go. Oh, now it's cranking. Still not enough, but it's cranking. We now have 64 stress units, 128 stress units in that thing. That's probably not good. 
<laughs> Why not? Honestly, don't know. But it appears to be operating four times faster. So each set appears to make the thing four times faster. No, I've done this twice. So it's it doubles. So it's multiplicative then, right? Not additive. So the next one will be 16 or eight times faster. Am I, is that Does that sound right? Sounds right. Okay. But I make no promises. I mean, it's fair. I need those shafts. Holy moly, yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. Pick that up at the bottom, don't worry. Holy smokes. The power! Uh, what's 256 divided by 16? I guess that's what 16? That's 16? <laughs> Yeah, so I have made this 16 times faster um, because I went twice. So, yeah, these things are fast. It's a lot of stress units. So I think if I applied some fire, this thing would be going. There it goes. I'm mixing it up. Can I get that, please? No. Brass. Quest, create building tools. Where the hell is that quest? Oh, shoot. I didn't even know that was a thing. Give me some of that builder's tea. Hell yeah. We just completed the builder's tea quest. Wait a minute. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, have, I have discovered a flaw in the quest system. Oh, that's funny. Doesn't sound like a flaw to me. Uh, yet again, a legendary box that appears to have nothing in it, though. Yeah, well, that's fine. I mean, I didn't rightfully get it, so. Extendo grip, boing, boing. The extendo grip increases your reach distance, thus allowing you to place and break blocks at a larger distance. Put it in your offhand and then use blocks or tools in your main hand as you normally would. While wearing a copper tank, it extent it loses no durability and uses air pressure in your tank. That sounds fun. Plus, there's a wand of symmetry. That also sounds fun. Well, hey, so that means this press is going to be a hell of a lot faster now, too. So if I want to press this brass, which will press half of it. Holy crap. <laughs> That's goddamn gorgeous is what that is. And I'll have four brass plates. I don't know what I need them for. I need them for something. These things, I think. Yeah, so I can now make eight brass casings. Cool. I've reached the brass age. Let's go. All right, I need another electron tube. No, what am I building? I'm building. Let's just go to the cog wheel. Oh, that, 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 that crushing wheel. It's made of all these things. I need mechanical crafters. That's it. I need, I need these. Give me these. I need this. Give me this. Thank you. All right, I need these. What do I not have? Oh, crafting table. Okay, that's fair.
Sweet, I got three of these now. Now I need uh, 18 more. <laughs> oh shit, I need brass nuggets. Brass nuggets, those chunky hmm. nuggets. My attunement altar seems to not be working anymore. I don't know why. What altar? The attunement altar? Like I'm holding the constellations in my hands. It's not showing me the pattern to lay down. Is that it is in weird. the sky? No, it should always, it should, like, the, to, to lay the things? I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure it should always be there. Hmm. Yeah, which is confusing to me. I received some to... more refined radiance. Joy. Sorry, guys, sleep. Phantoms are attacking me. You, you don't need an idea? No. No, you're the one doing all that stuff. Yeah. What the hell is happening with this thing? Oh my god. That's how this works? What are you doing? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. So to make one of these magical devices, uh -huh. magical the crushing device. wheel, mm -hmm. you need 21 of the mechanical crafting devices uh -huh. that then must be set up in this pattern that you can see on the screen if you're looking at my screen. Sure. And, and powered. And then fed with all of these ingredients that are necessary to make these mechanical crafting wheels. So three, six, nine, twelve, sixteen andesite alloy. Easy peasy. One stone, eight planks. That's not necessarily the problem. It's the twenty-one of these things. Great googly moogly. Twenty-one. And then what are you gonna do with them afterwards? That's the yeah, that's the real nice. crazy thing. A lot of these red wireless redstone, though, that's kind of fun. Sucker is just flying along. Can uh, create stuff explode? Not that I know of. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, the speed, the direction reverses. It's kind of neat. I need silk touch, don't I? Yeah, one of them just go in between those. So, does this pack have a precision pickaxe? Oh, I see what happened. Some stupid tree grew in such a way as to displace some of my. So my uh, marble, and that canceled out its function. Stupid trees. It's not. Also, watch Those out. Can't for reach there. It's kind of crazy that they can't just like go next to each other. I wonder if I built a platform for it, if it could. Excuse me, I can just... I can just make it? No, they're not smart enough. Huh. If I had a Hydrolux pedal... What are you just making? Give me this. A Silk Touch book. Wait, what? Yeah, I need the Hydrolux pedals, and I need a gas tier. I mean, doable. Kind of. But like you said, killing gas at range, bit of a problem in uh, getting the tier. True. And I don't even know where you find Hydrolux. 
in the end. Like at that rate, I'd be better off just setting up an enchanting setup. I really oh. want that stuff. All right, I don't hate this as much as I did a second ago. <laughs> it's still, I think, unnecessarily fiddly, but it's not as bad as it was. Is it really 1030 already? Good Lord. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's fine. We're going to press on. I'm going to get one of these damn crushing reels today. So I'm going to make a bunch of those. Okay, uh, I'm going to be right back, though. Oh, did I get a spelling bee? I did. So they'll probably get me books. Yeah. So that might be a thing to do. How many books do I already have? 31. So that's... Ten bookshelves. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Thanks. Uh, what am I doing? I need more of these things. So I need six more brass casings. I have two. So I need to do another set of brass casings. Okay. Which I can't do until I get the planks. So I have all the necessary brass casings. Now I need to get it more of this damn rose quartz. And polish it. Which I could automate, I understand, but ain't nobody got time for that. Why not? Because I only need seven. Plus three, max forty. So I all need right. more uh... books. One plus that. I have two. I need five more. Right, so five need... quartz and some redstone. Fifteen shelves. Hmm. Where? Okay. My sandpaper! All right, I made one too many anyway, so it's fine. In you go. Ah, mine sandpaper. Whatever hey, will Akashic I Akashic Tome. Come back. In the inventory. I have 422 things in my inventory. I'm almost at the limit. I need to get more. Are you actually almost at the limit of the stuff you can hold in your ridiculous inventory? No, 2,688 things are the things... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't looking, so I didn't know. 
I'm up. I'm almost a sixth of the way there. <laughs> uh, first world problems. Okay. Um, so I had those six of those. So I need six redstone torches. I don't think I have those. I have two. I'm assuming a redstone torch is just like a torch with redstone. No, it's torch recipe with redstone. One, two, three, four. Get in there. All right, so can we make these yet? One. Two. I'm out of nugs? I have all those. I have all those. I need 14 mini cogwheels and seven or and six. No, I need 12 mini cogwheels and six of these. Okay. So I need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All the books. Now we need the wood. In you go. In you go. Uh, works. Cog wheels. Fucking buttons. Uh, okay. How many do I have? Four. Okay, so I need to do it once. So I need eight buttons. Got so pearls. dumb. Do we have bottles? You've got no bottles. is the most we'll need. Let's go get some dragon breath. Oh, because oh, they're in my inventory. I will never need 21 of these things again. That's, I think, the most frustrating part of that. You need it to do this one recipe, and you'll never need that many ever again. Hmm. Yes. Wait, this needs to be five tall. My workshop's only three tall. <laughs> Oh, man. I just... I... All right, in the meantime, I need four planks, one piece of stone, and 16 in sorry, alloy. I don't think I have enough alloy. I have 10. I need six more. I can only make three more. I'm gonna make two more in point of fact. Thank you for firing the bomb. You need a mint. Does that relate to dragon breath? Oh no. Need a mint, collect dragon's breath. I got a bottle, collect a bottle of meditation of air. Whatever. I don't need that many shelves anyway. Are you fighting the ender dragon right now? No, I'm collecting its breath. Right, you can go in. down here. All right, so I've got those casings. I have that stuff. And I need a stone. Whee! I think a smooth stone would qualify? Probably, right? Oh, I have plenty of stone. 
All right, so I have the ingredients I need for these damn mechanical crafters. You can power a mechanical crafter from the top, right? I don't think there's any reason you have to power it from the bottom. So let's throw a cogwheel on this thing. That is so fast. Wait, it stacks to 13? What? What does? The dragon's breath. It stacks to 13. Yeah. Why? Over oh, no! It's almost like running this thing that fast is dangerous. Oh, no. Alright, well... If I fall to the bottom, can I still interact with it? If I... I have no shafts on me. I'm an idiot. If I do this... Does it do what I think it's going to do? No, it cannot do that. Okay. So what I need to do is break this down because doing this 16 times is unnecessary for this particular structure. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Stupid lag. That appears to be working. We'll see just how many I can get away with here, because this is going to be nasty, I think. Okay, so this is going to be a temporary structure. Wait, is this the basement? Ugh, the basement. I thought this was the upper floor. This is even more annoying. Two, three, so it still has to go down a level. Not that far, though. All right. Can I just put these in right now? I have to be able to access the front. Okay. No problem. It's off by one? Hey, why don't those connect? Doesn't like the Aspen bookshelf. Oh, they're bricks, not stone. Okay. Six dust, two ingots, some feathers. Do they need to connect in all those ways? Like, do I need to? I guess we're going to find out. 
All right, and it's tight around the outside. So the center spokes are the things that matter. So that and those four. So you go in, you go in. Chaos of the end. Mm -hmm. have obtained an end shelf it's going mm -hmm. it worked Uh, excuse you. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, and we never need this device again. Eleven? Not at this size, anyway. Yeah, eleven should be fine. What do you want to bet that if I tried to set up the cog wheel, the crushing wheels at that speed, it would not work either? <laughs> <laughs> Just a guess. Some of it. I don't know why you'd possibly think that. But that does tell you nothing explodes. It just gums up, which is fine. Much, uh, much nicer option than what I had considered. Yeah, I'm short one stone. How is that even possible? Where'd it go? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Right, this is too high to get out now. Those. Oh, I've got crushing wheels. Neat. All right, so they have to do that, that, but then they have to turn at opposite speed or at opposite directions. Mm -hmm. okay. here. How does that work? I wonder. Sixty. Wow. Four times is not fast enough for that. Crazy. All right, well, let's go speed this back up so my mixer and the press and everything still work. Probably at high mode field. So the mixer works again. There it is. <laughs> I had to see. <laughs> it can move at 512. Oh, that's terrifying. All right, I just can't double it again cuz this makes everything faster from here on out too. So oh. that's that's no no bueno. But it can operate this fast. Yes, yeah, so I can run these crushers at 512. Now I just have to figure out how I reverse the shaft direction. Uh Big cog next to it. I don't know if um, 
like a pair of big cogs next to one another spin in opposite directions. Yeah, but I think it's too far away at that point. Yeah. Also, I can't put a big cog next to a big cog for some reason. I have to put a little one in between. That's weird. The big cog only uh, um, can only go perpendicular to each other. Hmm. So this just puts it back in the same direction. That's how far apart they need to be. I think I can slow it down enough that it'll work. But I need to reverse the direction within. Because they have to be that close together. One of these damn things changes the direction somewhere. Does the gear shift? Does the gear shift? Gear shift. Ah, so I could do that. I could put shafts in between it. Okay, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, that makes sense. What I can do is I can do and then I could do do I have more belt? Hell yeah. Then right Lapis. All right, we stop the whole thing because reasons. And we just need a redstone signal on this thing. Crescendo of bolts. Pedestal capacity five, ender disruption two. Do you think I can just put the analog lever straight on the device? No. Yes, you can. But it needs to be slowing down. It's too fast as it is. So how do we slow it down? Because we still need that to go. We can do it on the other side. So we throw a small one here. Big one here that slows it down. And am I out of small cogs for really? me? 
Oh, but I have buttons. I have buttons galore. Wow, that's as high as I could get with five stacks, huh? Okay, so let's take a look into this guy. Can we bound blocks in the same dimension up to 1,000 blocks away? We're within 1,000 blocks, so that'll be fine. So that barely an inconvenience. I didn't have to use a lever for this. Like, I just want it to be on. This requires ender pearls, chest, and obsidian. Also, not a problem. Wait, a lever, like a plain lever, provides redstone signal, right? Yes. But it it sends full redstone signal. I Which think the analog matter. lever gets you specific yeah, yeah, values. Yeah. But in this instance, I'm, it's off or on. It's either backwards or not backwards. So mm -hmm. I just need one of these bad boys. Give me. Thank you. I don't need this then. So theoretically, this should be enough stress reduction. Hey. I don't know how to feed it. <laughs> it's just I don't, well, I mean, yes, but like that lo long term is not great. <laughs> we did slow it down nicely. I, I need a, I need some visuals here. Oh, I could throw a funnel onto it. That's that's an idea, and then shoot down below. I kind of want to clutch on it too, so I can turn it off and on. Because I don't think I want it always on. Do I? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Like from like, a server standpoint, yeah, you don't want like it always lag on, management right? And all. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Okay, so we'll throw a clutch on it. Um, throw a bracket on it. I don't know when I'm going to use a mechanical crafter again, but it's possible. Why am I holding a smoker? Anyone know? <laughs> B. No, it's a it's the furnace smoker. Oh, well, then who knows? I don't know. All right. Let's get rid of this one. And I need another lever, please. Thank you. That is sweet. Cool. Now I have a switch for that. Why was I doing this? Or processing. Right. Or processing. Because the theory being... I already have tea. I already have 14 builder's teas. What is it supposed to do again? Motivating and saturating. Hey there, Stan. Let's drink one. How's it going? Gives me a glass bottle. Haste, plus ten percent attack speed. So that's what it has given me is haste for two for three minutes. Three minutes of haste plus a plus a, ga a, a glass bottle. Cool. 
Apparently, I have a jug of beer for some reason as well. That really was the first bee that I captured. Wild. Cool. Um. Mac, I've never used that block before, so I wasn't entirely certain how it was going to work. And it Let's turns out take I have to do it the other way around. An iron chunk. And throw it into this thing. I missed. Alright, so you feed it from that one, and it comes out here. And I got two crushed iron ore. And you might save a frog. But frog. That's frog. the same as an iron chunk. You didn't actually pick up anything, although I got two of them. It's only 25% of the time you get to. So... You know, what's what's the point? Well, if you wash the crushed iron ore, you get iron nuggets. So we did the math. I think it was one of the episodes when George was gone, but we did the math and it's you, you average 4.4 ingots per chunk this way, which is pretty good. You may, you may ask, but Frog, do you have the washing part set up? No. Very glad that didn't crash the server. <laughs> what did you just do? I I may have entangled a thing to itself, um, but it's fine. It did not crash anything. I wonder if I brought the smoker for a villager, for like a villager task or something. Is it night? It is. It is currently night, yes. Do you want it to... Oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I didn't even think about it. Are you using the night? Uh, yeah, for just a minute. Okay. No, that's fine. I just... I, I got in the habit. Oh, it's nighttime. Go to sleep. I was like, wait, wait. Uh, before we wrap up today, you guys want to take a quick jaunt over to a tomb? Uh, sure. Where am I going? To my joint. Okay. And then there is a waystone that I've placed in a tomb that you can use from, from then on. But to get there first, you need you have to come into my portal. Unless you want to build one. Okay, it'll be just a moment. I have to go. And then oh, sorry, I gotta heal Bordy. Oh wow, he was almost dead. Glad I noticed. Oh no, he's been busy. If I really cared enough, I'd put a second border of fences around here, but let's be honest. Man, you move fast. Wait, do I have four iron golems now? I have four iron golems now. All right, can you tell me what uh, what village is uh, the, is yours? The perimeter. Hmm? The perimeter. If you warp to the perimeter, ah. that's the the waystone. Okay. Wait, do I have five? Gentlemen, do I have at least five iron golems? No, Here's okay, the that's the one that, that comes happen. from over there. He's just fast. No, I have four at the moment. Which theoretically means I might be getting more villagers. I need to have more jobs set up. Although I haven't seen a villager wandering around that has no jobs. So. Hello? Nice eyes. Nice hat. Thanks. I stole it myself. <laughs> I have since enchanted it quite a bit, so... You know, to be fair. <laughs> I took your idea and improved upon it by making it cool. Oh, the server does not like this. Or my client doesn't, one of the two. There we go. Hey, all my bars are back. That's good. I might have too many sheep. What bars? Oh, uh, my connection. Earlier I was having a solid one uh, one bar connection, and that was, oh, that was a lot of fun. 
All right, so there's two ways to get there. We can either go through the windmill or you can take my totally not secret portal. Is somebody bringing their cat to a tomb? Uh, how do I make my cat not follow me? Right click it and it'll sit. And then you can go collect it when you're done. Okay. Let's go let's okay. go through the let's go through here. Last one through, please close the door. It's a long drop by the way if you don't have your bunny slippers on, so just be aware. So this is what I've been working on all day is this. Looks incredibly oh, dangerous. Just um, step right in there, it'll be fine. All right, and then uh, this is an elevator. Just jump up. Come on through here. There's sandstone. Get you into the portal. It looks like you cannot get back, which is why I brought the waystone with me. It, you can actually get back, but just jump on in. And you're in a tomb. Oh, there's a sandstorm going on at the moment. So that's fun. So the waystone is over here if you want to activate it. Don't worry, it's just a half heart when you jump through. Loading. Ow. <laughs> so there's the waystone for you. A tomb. Cool. Yeah. Um, the village that I found is over this away. Am I looking north? I can't tell. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's up, up this away. No, it's, it's over this way. It's here. east. It's east. What's that? There's a sergeant over here. Oh, those are enemies. Yeah. Almost everything here will try to kill you. All right. Sorry, you said east? Yeah, this this away. All right. Pretty sure. Let me look at my map. Yeah, yeah. So what kind of wildlife you got out here? Jackrabbits. Um, pretty much in this biome, there's jackrabbits. There are nine biomes in here. Uh, this is really the only one I've found so far. There are camels and wolves as well, but I've seen neither of those. Hmm. This seems vaguely homey to me. Yeah, it's kind of cool. There's a lot of enemies, though. Like, a lot of bandits. Yeah, I think a unique Atum guy appeared uh, while I was doing something, and he one-shotted me. And uh, I then got the achievement... Uh, you know, hey, you got one shot by something from a tomb. How would you not do the next time? Yeah, a tomb is super dangerous. Uh, yeah, this is the village I went to. Oh, there's chicken, or there's quail, rather, as well. Human female farmer. Okay, I'm now all in. This is great. We have quail in our backyard. They're wonderful. Yeah, I remember this place. You ruined it. What I ruined? Uh, there were like. 25 or 30 gold chests in this village as well. As you explore around. Okay. Awesome. And then the villagers are like villagers. Like this armor will send you stuff. But you need golden coins for it. So they don't deal in emeralds. They deal in gold coins. So as you go through the chest, you'll find like dirty coins and dirty whatever. You just dip them in water. And it cleans them off. The trinkets appear to just be cosmetic. Um, but like I said, the coins are what they deal in. So. Desert gear looks pretty all right. And then the, the dudes Club. that are wearing the giant headdresses, those don't actually... Uh, it's not like an Illager Bane or anything like that. They're just giant headdresses. There's a lot of chests right where I'm at, by the way. Like, I told you, there's like, there's tons of them. I'm this is it. also where they do, like, the purple stained, like, all the stained glass comes from here. And all the limestone comes from here, too. So eventually I want a limestone door, but I figured taking their limestone didn't seem right. Huh. Emmer seeds. I like seeds. <laughs> From what I could tell, the rate appears to be approximately three coins per emerald. Oh, there you are. I thought I killed all the spawners in here, but apparently not. I may not have explored everything like I thought. Is that a kopesh? It is a kopesh. Yeah, those are things you can get. 
all the things that look like just little boxes. No, I've been in here. Those are all um, crates as well. It's all I could do not to steal their linen walls, too. I, I just tried. Because the village actually looks pretty cool, so I didn't want to. You didn't want to get too smashy and grabby. Right. You can get strange sand. Strange sand is just sand. So it's not used for anything. It's just sand. Sadly. It's a date. <laughs> Ooh, found some of the dirty coins you're talking about. Iron camel armor. Awesome. Sounds like yeah. it'd be great for my iron camel. No, no, a camel could be plain. No, no, iron camel. Oh, shoot, I'm actually taking serious damage here. What's going on? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh. Need a rest? No, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. My food has taken effect, so I'm, b I'm back to okay. There's just so many of these stupid bandits. It's kicking in. Other than the sergeants, most of them, by the time they get to me, they're dead anyway. So. What if I left a smoker behind? Do you think they'd start smoking stuff? Let's find out. Oh, I have never been in here. Cool. How do I get up to those? Climb a tree? I'm going to throw a smoker in here and see if that one of them becomes a something or other. Yeah, they just became a butcher. Sweet. I can't trade with them, apparently. Why can't I trade with you? Eh, whatever. Enjoy being a butcher. Oh, here's a spawner. Want me to kill it? Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I don't see any reason to keep those spawners around. Apparently, they're all over the place here. So, like, this world is full of them. Arr. Do they also burn on fire when they target you? No. I'm just I'm doing that manually. Oh, okay. By means of setting them on fire. Oops. I just trapped myself in the well. <laughs> Guess you live there now. No, it's fine. Pyramid Explorer map. Oh, yeah, I got a couple of those, too. Because there's pyramids and stuff? Oh, yeah. That's what I got. Can you stop that? Iron Desert Wolf Armor. Yeah, you can tame the wolves. Angler's Bounty 5. That's pretty strong. Isle of Fertile Soil. And I haven't explored a whole lot of this, so... There's open lava, open crude oil, just like the rest of the world. There's an oasis up to the northeast. And there's a pyramid to our east as well. Ooh, 
I'm gonna go check out the pyramid. It might be cursed. Find out. Ooh. Ooh, a curse. <gasps> Camels. Oh, also looks like there's a bit of an oasis to the uh, northeast. Yeah. Law we finally killed enough. Congrats. Yeah, I didn't see any of the uh, arrow guys till just now. Oh. There's some dromedaries over here. They make llama noises. Eh, best you can do, probably. There's some zombie noises. This isn't anywhere near as good as Light Cigarette. I just found a tiny little pyramid. Where are you? I'm heading back to the uh, the waypoint because oh. it's about time to go. Oh yeah, you're right. I found a big a big uh, thing, and I don't see any way in. But I hear a lot of zombies, and when you look at the map, it's basically solid red. <laughs> nice. Ah, quail. They need to make portable waystones. What's up with the strange sand? It's just strange. Because it's um, a tomb. I'm pretty you you sure convert it one-to-one to, can... one to normal sand. Um, I'm pretty sure you can use the... Uh, the gem that you use to make the waystone. Yeah. As a teleporter. Two other waystones, I assume? Yeah. I should make one of those then. I suppose I could make one now if there weren't so many damn bandits everywhere. Making the portal was, was actually sort of easy. Um, once you have diamond. Pain in the ass until I had the diamond, because, you know, it doesn't work. But it's pretty neat. And I don't know, like, I, well, I'm assuming if you all make your own portals, they'll not be in the same spot. Oh, yeah, I, I, do, I wonder how, the, how it layers. Oh, I found your I found your pyramid. Oh yeah, there's mummies here. Can't believe I didn't need a date yet. I can't remember if I put those in. No, I didn't. I have a chest for them. Oh, I can combine two of them now. Nice. And I have two scimitars. Excellent. Mech taught me all about combining things in your inventory yes, uh, last week. What an eye-opener. Oh, for, like, repairing them? Yeah. And he warned me about, you know, obviously don't do that if they have enchantments. I have a brigand shield with unbreaking two, durability 150. What's the durability of this? 300. Okay, so. I don't know. I have almost an entire Iron Desert set. But yeah, all of these, all so far, all the dirty stuff that I've watched have either been coins or vanity things, not actual stuff. Oh, I did get a bandit banner this time. That is cool. I don't know what it's for, but it's cool. Apparently, I picked up one of their shields also. So thank you for extra durability on my shield. Appreciate that. Thirty-four plus one fifty-three, two hundred three. Don't know how that works. Thank you for the bonus. I should say, I don't know how that works. I understand intelligently how it works, but you shouldn't get more durability by combining two smaller things. Yeah, there you are. Right. 
cool. I know, that should probably be. Yeah, I'm searching up here. Do, 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 do. Sound does me this. It is the end of the stream. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Stick around. We are going to go visit a friend. I don't know who yet, but we'll figure it out. In the meantime, Lightbringer, you're up. Name's Lightbringer, spelled like you see it there, as you can hear from the lovely reverb. I'm in a new place, but we're not completely done move moving yet, so don't expect the streams to be back to normal for a bit yet. That was that was not an effect either. That's yeah, just that the just sound of the room. The room. Not ideal. Uh, George. Hey, you can catch us all uh, playing again on Thursday. At, uh, I'll be by at 9 p.m. Eastern. They'll be playing at 8. We'll play more of this. It'll be awesome. You can definitely check it out. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. You can be anywhere on Twitch, but you're here right now with us. And for that, I truly appreciate it. If you did not know I'm a part-time variety streamer here on the Twitch sphere. I stream on Saturday, excuse me, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 8, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Tuesday and Thursday is this, what you saw today, playing some Minecraft with some friends. Uh, mostly the three of us every now and again yogurt comes in mrs frog said she might be playing with us uh once her classes are done so we'll see if that's true or not um and then on sundays uh, i have been putting together legos the latest build were the uh, those dinosaur bone collections that i, I was talking about they're they're awesome so if you want to see those built go back to the vod on that of course, it's the easy way to, easiest way to support the channel, watching live or on demand. Yes, if you watch those demand uh, videos, it does help, believe it or not. So you, if you can't make it live, always catch the, the uh, replay. I very much appreciate it if you do. These dinosaurs are great. They're in front of me right now because I don't know where to put them. But they're like reticulated and stuff. It's pretty awesome. Like almost every joint is movable. Pretty sweet. Um... I don't know what I'm going to do now on Sundays. Probably play Unbound. But I also just downloaded Presaurus, or Presonus' uh, Studio One Pro. And uh, I think I'm going to start writing music again because I've, I've been missing it. Um, I have a MIDI keyboard that I'm probably going to try and set up, and it interfaces, and it's a full-service DAW, and it's a very affordable uh, subscription. So I think I'm going to do that. Oh, I said it was, we were going to go somewhere. Shoot. Uh, let's say hi to... I don't even know... I'd say we could raid Patrick Rothfuss, but that seems silly. Uh, he's the only <laughs> one of my friends that's playing playing uh, that. Anyway, if you'd like to support the channel uh, in a more monetary fashion, if you subscribe to the channel, get to these things right here. It's not necessarily it'll continue to be free, uh, but you do get access to 15 of the Froggy's demotes on Twitch and also these end credits. Uh, we'll just let Auto Host take over see where it goes. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Cheers. See ya. So long.